I'm Phil Monkow's realtor in Houston. Today I'm going over the top five best selling communities in Katy. Greater Katy has a population of roughly 340,000 and the borders of it are roughly the Katy Independent School District, which is one of, if not the most sought after school districts in the Houston area. Um, so yeah, let's dive right in. Most of these are still powered by new construction, most of these communities. So I'll just touch on which ones are, which one is and only one isn't. Um, so yeah, let's start off with number five. Okay, number five is Tamaron 60 home sales. This is just in the uh, second quarter to date. So the second quarter ends two weeks from now, but um, there's just so many. I did, for, I did this for Sugarland last week. There's so many home sales in Katy, I just cut it down um, to this quarter because I didn't want to sift through all the results. So 60 home sales, the lowest average sale price on the list at 385000 uh, $176 price per square foot and 28 days is the average um, for what it takes to do a home sale and 11 is the medium. I put both just because um, when I did Sugarland, there's it, the numbers were like this where the average and the median are very different. Sugarland is mostly resale. Um, Katie's mostly new construction for these communities anyway. Um, but yeah, still uh, the median is really low. The average is a bit higher, so if you want to sell your house quickly, you just uh, price it appropriately. Um, so Tamron, I'd say it's about half new construction the sales were in the time period I looked at. Okay, moving on to number four. Okay, Cane Island's been around for a few years since maybe 2017, I'm thinking, something like that. Um, 64 home sales in the period I looked at and the average price was 630,000. Average price per square foot was $196. That's pretty high because um, it's still mostly new construction. Um, and these numbers are higher too, again, mostly because it's new construction. Average 84 days, 53 median. Builders tend to uh, price homes high, new inventory homes high. Um, and then when they get closer to, to, well, when they're complete, I should say, when they're complete, um, and they're not selling, they'll, they'll start lowering the price aggressively. So, um, and maybe someone's not ready to buy when they just see the frame and they wanna see more of a finished product. So new, new home construction areas tend to have a little bit higher numbers, but that's still a pretty hot market. All right, moving on to number three. All right, number three, we have Elise on. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I've been there before and talked to the salespeople, but I, I forget what they said. I think that's correct. Um, 65 home sales, so just one more than Cane Island. It's uh, more than half new construction. It's been around for a while too, uh, but still more than half new construction. 504,000 is the average sales price. $183 price per square foot, so a little bit lower than Cane Island. And uh, similar numbers for days on market, 91 average and 51 median. All right, Sunterra, uh, very affordable. Oh, did I make a mistake on Tamron? Let's see. Yeah, I did. So Sunterra is actually slightly more affordable than Tamron. I think Tam I said Tamron was the most affordable. Um, $171 uh, price per square foot. And again, with the other two, this is most all new. This one's all new construction, I think. I don't think there's any resale in here because this just opened up like two years ago, a year and a half, maybe even it was the first time you get a home. Um, 88 days average days on market and 53 median. Um, yeah, surprised to see how affordable they made it. Um, it's a beautiful new community with this uh, beach area. And then there's another pool, um, a pool that has this lazy river attached. So yeah, this is a beautiful new community and there's no wonder it's selling so well. 95 home sales, number two on the list. Number one on our list is Cinco Ranch with 126 home sales. It's more impressive because there's no new construction here. Uh, Cinco Ranch is built out. Uh, the average sales price, 605000 Average price per square foot, 181 And average days on market, 25 and 6 as a median. So, yeah, if you're pricing your home appropriately, it sells right away. That's what that's telling me. So, yeah, that's Katie. Um, one of the best cities that people want to live in probably in the whole country, uh, let alone greater Houston. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, Till next week. Thank you.